Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 143. And today we'll have our last quiz in a series of five, the fifth one in the series of five on multiplication. First five problems are already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at them. First one is. 3 times 3 and 1 third. 3 times 3 and 1 third is very simple. We just do 3 times 3, which is 9, and 3 times a third. A 3 thirds, if you have 1 third, 2 third, 3 thirds, 3 thirds make a whole. 3 thirds, 3 thirds is going to make a whole. So it's 9 plus 1, which is 10. 9 plus 1, which is 10. Let's do one more. Next one. 4 times 4 times 2 and a half. 4 times 2 and a half is simply 4 times 2, which we know is 8, plus, plus 4 halves. How much is 4 halves? Well, we know 2 halves make a 1, 4 halves make a 2. So it's just 8 plus 2. It's just 8 plus 2. Let's do the next one. 5 and 1, 5, 5 times. 3 and 1 fifth. 3 and 1 fifth. Well, 5 times 3 is 15. And if you have 5 fifths, 5 fifths will make a whole. That's why it's called a fifth. 1 fifth, 2 fifth, 3 fifth, 4 fifth, and 5 fifth. If you have 5 fifths, that's a whole. So 5 fifths is 1, so it's 15 plus 1. Let's do the next one. 16, 6 times 3 and 1 third. 3 and 1 third. 6 times 3 is 18 and 6 times a third, a 6 times a third is going to give us 6 third. It's going to give us 6 third. 6 third is just 2. So it's just 18 plus 2. Let's do the next one. 2 times a half. Uh, 2 times 7, 7 half. 2 times 7 and a half. Not 7 halves, 2 times 7 and a half. 7 halves and Seven and a half are two different things. This is seven halves. But this is seven halves. That's not what I meant to say. I meant to say seven and a half. Seven and a half. Two times seven and a half is just two times seven, which is fourteen. And if you have two halves, that's the one. Answer is fifteen. Let's do a few more. Three times five and one third. 4 times 4 and 1 quarter, 5 times 5 and 1 fifth, 6 times 3 and a half, and 7 times 3 and 1 seventh. The reason we are doing this problem is because many a times I have seen people where if they have to multiply simple numbers, very simple, very straightforward, very small numbers, but if they involve any kind of mixed fractions, they freak out. Any kind of mixed number is someone I meant to say. If they have to multiply a number by a mixed number, they freak out. And they reach for the calculator. There's no need for the calculator. These are very simple problem. Very simple problem. Should take no more than a couple of seconds for each one of them. Let's do a new one. Let's do the new ones. Three times, three times, five and one third. Three times five is fifteen. And if you have three one thirds, but three one third is one. So it's just sixteen. It's just 15 plus 1. Let's do the next one. 4 and f 4 times 4 and a quarter. Well, that's very simple. You get the idea now. 4 times 4 is 16. And what happens if you have 4 quarters? Well, 4 quarters will make a, will make a whole. 4 quarters will make a whole. So it's 16 plus 1. Let's do the next one. 5 times 1 fifth. 5 times... 5 and 1 fifth is what I meant to say. Again, 5 times 5 is 25. And if you have 5 fifths, that's the 1. That's the next one. 6 times 3 and a half. 6 times 3 is 18 plus 6 halves. 6 times 6 times half is 6 halves. Well, 6 halves will make 3. 2 halves make 1, 4 halves will make 2, 6 halves will make 3. 
as you can clearly see, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Let's do the next one. So that was this. Let's do this one. 7 times 7 times 3 and 1, 7. 7 times 3 is 21. And 7 times 1, 7. 7 times 1, 7. If you have 7, 1, 7, that's the 1. Because it cancels out. So it's 21 plus 1. That's why it's called a 7th. If you have 7 of those, 1, 7, 2, 7, 3, 7, all the way up to 7, 7, well, that's a 1. Let's do 5 more. You should start doing this thing as soon as I put 5 of them on the blackboard. Do them yourself the next 5. Pause the video and do them yourself. 9 times 2 and 3rd. As I said, when I finish putting all 5 of them, pause the video and do them yourself. 12 times 3 and a quarter. 24 times 3 and a third. 18 times 2 and a half. 10 times 5 and a half. Do them yourself. Nine times two and a third is very straightforward, very simple. That's simply nine times two, which is eighteen, and nine times one third is nine thirds. Is nine thirds. One nine third is three. So it's eighteen plus three. Let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. Twelve times three and a quarter. 12 times 3 and a quarter is simple. 12 times 3 which is 36 and 12 times a quarter will give us 12 quarters. If you take a quarter 12 times, well you have 12 quarters. 12 quarters is 3. If you have, three, if you have 12 quarters, that's 3 dollars. 4 quarters make a dollar, 8 quarters will make 2 dollars, 12 quarters is 3 dollars. Right there. So it's 39. Let's do the next one. 24, 24 times 3 and a, 3 and a third. 24 times 3. How much is 24 times 3? 24 times 3. If you were to come up to me and ask me what is 24 times 3, my answer would be very simple and very straightforward. My answer would simply be, how the hell do I know? Now if you ask me 25 times 3, that I do know. 25 times 3 is 75. Of course I know that because 3 quarters make 75 cents. We don't have 25 threes. We don't have 25 threes. We have 24 threes. So if you have 24 threes, you take the 75 and take away one 3. 75 minus 3 is 72. 72. And then we have 24 one thirds. We have 24 one thirds. 24 one third. If you can write it like this or you can write it the way I said it. 24 plus 24 one third. 24 and then 24 one third which is 8. If you have 24 one third, that's 8. 24 divided by 3 is 8. That's your answer. 24 plus 8. 24 plus 8. 24 plus 10 would be 30. Would have been 34. So this would be 32. Let's do the next one. Something has gone drastically wrong. I just explained to you. 24 times 3 is 72, not 24. It is 72. The answer is 80. The answer is 80. I just explained to you that 24, 24 times 3 would, would, would be 75. Therefore, 20, 24 times 3 would be 75 minus 1, 3. 75 minus 3 is 72. 18 times. 18 times 2 and a half. 18 times 2 and a half, let's see what that is. We know 18 times 2 is 36 plus 18 halves. And how much do you suppose you would have if you have 18 halves? Well, we know 2 halves make a 1. 18 halves will make a 9. 18 halves will make a 9. 36 plus 9, we know 36 plus 10 would have been 46. Therefore, 36 plus 9 would be 45. That would be 45. Let's do the next one.
n times five and a half. Well, that's pretty straightforward. Ten times five is fifty. And how much do you have if you have ten halves? Well, ten halves is five. Ten halves is five. It's fifty-five. Just to five more. Ten times four and a fifth. Eight times three and a eight. Seven times. Three and a half, six times, four and a quarter, and six times, three and two thirds. Do them yourself. Pause the video, do them yourself first. You'll always learn more that way. First one, ten times four and one fifth is simply ten times four, which is 40 and 10 fifths. 10 fifths. How much, how much is 10 fifths? Well, we know 5 fifths. If you have 5 fifths, 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths, and 5 fifths, that's the 1. Right? That's why it's called fifth. Fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths, 5 fifths, that's the 1. 10 fifths is 2. 10 fifths is 2, as you can see. Divide top and bottom by 5. How about top, top and bottom by 5? 10 becomes 2. 42 is the answer. Next one. 8 times 3, 3 and 1 8. 8 times 3 is 24 plus 8 1 8. 8, if you have 8 of them, 8 1 8, that's the 1. Answer is 25. Let's do the next one. 7 times 3 and a half. 7 times 3 and a half. 7 times 3 is 21, and 7 times half is 7 halves. How much is 7 halves? A half and a half is 1. Another 2 halves will make 2. 6 halves will make 3. This is 3 and a half. 7 halves is 3 and a half. It's 21 plus 3 and a half. So the answer is 24 and a half. answer is 24 and a half. Let's do the next one. 6 times 4 and a quarter. 6 times 4 and a quarter. 6 times 4 is 24. And 6 times a quarter, 6 times a quarter would be, would be 6 quarters. 6 quarters is how much? We know 4 quarters is 1. 4 quarters make 1. Another 2 quarters will be the half. 6 quarters, if I have 6 quarters, that's $1.50. That's 1 and a half dollars. 6 quarter is 1 and a half, so it's 24 plus 1 and a half is 25 and a half. It is 25 and a half. And finally, the last one, 6 times 3 and 2 thirds. 6 times 3 is 18, and 6 times 2 thirds, if it's 2 thirds, if it's 2 thirds and if you have 6 of them, but that's 12 thirds, because it's 6 times 2. 2 thirds plus 2 thirds is 4 thirds, and that 2 thirds will be 6 thirds, then 8 thirds, 10 thirds, and 12 thirds. 6 times 2 is 12, so it's 18 plus 6 times 2 thirds is 12 thirds. Well, 12 thirds is a 4, is a 4, because each third and a third and a third would make a 1. It's 4, 18 plus 4 is? 42. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.